welcome all this video is the principles for forensic science and the disciplines under forensic science forensic science is the scientific discipline which is directed to the recognition identification individualization and evaluation of physical evidence by the application of all principles and methods of natural sciences for the purpose of administration the term forensics is derived from the latin word forensis which means the forum principles of forensic science there are seven basic principles and laws for forensic science law of individuality principle of exchange law of progressive change principle of comparison principle of analysis law of probability and finally law of circumstantial facts first one is law of individuality every object which is natural or man made has an individuality may not be duplicated in any other object it may be unique neither by nature or uh, nor by artificially we can duplicate this type of objects for example currency notes typewriters seeds of plants laptops etc second one is principle of exchange or lockhart's principle it states that when a criminal or his instrument of crime come in contact with the victim or the object surrounding with him they leave traces and the criminal or his instrument picks up traces from the same contact for example shoe prints blood fingerprints etc third one is law of progressive change everything changes with the passage of time that is the scene of crime undergoes rapid change fourth one is principle of comparison only like can be compared that is it emphasizes this necessity of providing like samples and specimen for comparison with the questioned sample that is if the blood found on the crime scene is a positive then it cannot be compared with the person having other blood group fifth one is principle of analysis it emphasizes the necessity of correct sampling and correct packing for the effective use of expert for example blood drops found in two sites at the same scene may not belong to one person the sixth principle is law of probability all the identifications definite or indefinite are made consciously or unconsciously on the basis of probability seventh and last law is law of circumstantial facts facts do not lie men can and do importance of circumstantial evidence is as good as oral evidence oral evidence depends on many factors such as power of observation assimilation auto suggestion etc next we move on to disciplines of forensic science first one is criminalist 
the area of expertise to apply the techniques of the physical and natural sciences to examine physical evidence is known as criminalist it examines diet and identifies hair fibers blood seminal and body fluid stains drugs alcohol paint gas etc and it restores smeared or smudged markings the second one is toxicology this field analyzes the effect of foreign substances on human body and behavior for this purpose biological materials are subjected to a chemical body this exclusively focuses on the presence of chemical substances third one is forensic engineer this is the field that applies the art and science of engineering to the purpose of law it assists in the prosecution or defense of criminal or regulatory matters the typical subjects include failure analysis accident reconstruction causes and origins of fires or explosions design review quality evaluation of construction or manufacturing maintenance procedures and environment definition all are come under this field fourth one is jurisprudence main players of the courtroom are is in this field these must be knowledgeable of the law that governs the admissibility of forensic evidence present and challenge forensic evidence in depositions and court proceedings fifth field is odontology which is also known as forensic dentistry this is the branch that involves the application of dental science to the identification of unknown human remains and bite marks using both physical and biological dental evidence this helps in identification of human remains of natural disasters terrorist activities and missing and unknown persons another one discipline is pathology which is the study of disease by performing a surgery called autopsy and examining the tissues removed and by observing surgically removed specimens under the microscope this is the analysis of fluids taken from the body such as blood or urine also provides information about disease to the pathologist 